Hey y'all! I'm back! <laughs> okay. So, I'm on my sister's bed. Okay. So, I'm doing another Q&A. And all my Q&A stuff is on my laptop, which I record with because me. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. Okay, I'm ready. Whew. <laughs> Sorry. A lot's happened since I paused this. I actually have no idea where I left off from. Ooh. Okay. So, um, on Twitter, Mary Morgan, Morgan, me, on Twitter, <laughs> Mary Morgmas at Morgan Oil. You know who you are. <laughs> if you're even watching this, she asked, "What is your favorite Christmas dessert?" Okay, well, I, I don't really have any Christmas desserts. I don't... We don't really eat anything on Christmas that's, like, dessert-ish. We have cake because Jesus' birthday or something. We usually eat, like, all the cool stuff on Christmas Eve because Christmas Eve is cooler than the night of Christmas. Because, like, after Christmas morning when, like, you already have, like, opened all your presents and everything, it's just, like, a normal day, basically. Like, does anybody else do anything, like on all of Christmas, like, my family doesn't. Also, I just forgot to mention, when I get home from school, I put my hair up like this, and I didn't realize, <laughs> I didn't realize I wasn't going to record a video, so my hair is still trash, and I don't care. Okay, so next question, oh, oh, I clicked buttons, me. So, titter totter on, um, Twitter, because that's where I got all my questions, it's at Krusty Colleen. You should follow her. She's great. She asked, why is my scream name Turtle Dove? So if you're from Twitter, <laughs> uh, my Twitter name is Turtle Dove. And it's actually everyone in the fandom, the Colleen fandom, we all have Christmas names, I guess. And so everyone knows I go by Turtle. And so I had Tinsel Turtle, but then everyone had already taken Tinsel. And so then, like, I forget who I think was my friend Jocelyn, but I don't know. She was like, hey, I had a great idea. You should put Turtle Dove, because, like, you know, the 12 days of Christmas. And it's like, at the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge and a pear tree. So, like, the second one is Turtle Doves. So, you know, Christmas. <laughs> okay. Um, next question. So... The next few questions, actually, will all be from Antler Alley on Twitter. And her at is AllieCat2601. She's great. I love her. Okay. Um, so, she has a couple questions. So, number one is, what is my favorite holiday? And I, th it's between Halloween and Christmas. I love both. Um, and then her next question is, what are you looking forward to on Christmas? I'm looking forward to opening my presents because my thing is I gave my mom a list of things that I want and then she and then she was like oh they were just suggestions and so now I'm just like what I, I gave you links I gave specific links to specific objects what what what, what did you get me I don't <sighs> so now it's like eating away at my soul like what what did she get <laughs> and uh next question Next question, like all these questions, you'll know when I pick a new person to answer questions for. Um, so, um, her last question was, "Are you excited for Haters Back Off season two, girl? <laughs> girl, yes. I'm, I'm still in my like, hit, hit, Haters Back Off season two. What? Oh my gosh, I'm so hype. I'm ready to watch. And, like, they've, like, done a little bit of planning, but, like, it's still not written, it's still not recorded, it's still not edited, we don't know anything, nothing, they don't know anything, but I'm ready. <laughs> it's still, like, it's so weird to me that there was even a season one, and it's so weird whenever I go on Netflix to watch something and I see Colleen's face there, or Miranda's face there, and I'm like, she's on Netflix. Like, it's still, like... I, I can't, it's, like, hard to grasp, because it's, like, holy crap, all the things that she has done. Damn. <laughs> okay, um, and, okay, and here. So, here's another thing. Okay, so, Alan Mus, <laughs> you'll notice a lot of these are Christmassy, or Al Aline Mus, um, uh, so her at is Colleen, X heart. She asked me, 
What's your favorite Colleen memory? Okay, so, uh, I don't know. I think my favorite memory is, I use this in, I use this reference in my daily life. The first ever video, like, I've seen a few of her videos, like, in the past few years, but, like, the video that, like, actually got me hooked on her, like, the video that led to me looking at more videos with her in it, and then I, and, like, I woke up one day and I was like, wow, I'm obsessed with Colleen Ballinger, wow. So, like, but there's a few videos, like, when I first dipped my toe in, the video that I watched was her, My Drunk Kitchen with Hannah Hart, because I was already obsessed with Hannah Hart. So she, so I was just watching old Hannah Hart, My Drunk Kitchens, and Colleen was in one, and then I got hooked from her from that. So basically, she was like, I don't need your raisins. I, that's like my favorite thing when she's like, we don't need your raisins. So like in my daily life, I literally, I say, I don't need you or your raisins. And I'll just say that to people and they don't understand. No one understands. But like, and I say it to everybody. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the last person who asked me questions is Jonathan and thank you. <laughs> um, and his at is JD Lewis. L-E-W-I-S, Lewis, 89. I'll link everybody below because I love them and they're great friends. Great internet friends. So he asked me my favorite Taylor Swift song. I think I've answered this before, but like in a Q&A that got deleted for some strange reason. Probably because I started playing the song, but my favorite Taylor Swift song is Ronin, which is the song that she wrote about the little boy with cancer who died. He died at three, but like in the song she says four, I think. Or, like, the other way around. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. But, like, I have a little story about this. Today, on the bus, when I was, like, home, I always, like, prop my bag open. Prop, prop it open. No, I just prop it on my, like, knees. And then, like, I'll go like this and lean down if I'm on the inside seat so I can still sleep comfortably. Because I sleep on the bus. I don't care. I don't want to talk to people. And so, like, I was holding my iPod and something must have happened because, like, one second I'm just laying there. And then all of a sudden I'm, like, is that Taylor Swift? And I look at him, I was like, Who, who's playing Taylor Swift? Everyone on here, no, no one likes Taylor Swift. So then I looked at my iPod, and I'm like, I'm playing Taylor Swift. And then the kid next to me, who's like in one of my classes, like he wasn't sitting next to me, he was like in the seat over the aisle. I hear him go, who's singing? And I'm like, oh. and I keep on trying to turn it off because I don't want him to see that I'm accidentally playing music. And I was like, it won't turn off, it's taking five years because I have an old iPod, <sighs> and it was, like, so devastating, but, like, I love Taylor Swift, so I was, like, okay with it. Anyways, next, what do you love most about Colleen? I love that she has imperfections, because it's easier to relate to her, I guess, because, like, it, because, like, you look at celebrities who, like, do no wrong and, like, are perfect, and, like, you, and it's bad to idolize them because, like, they're perfect and, like, you will never be, but, like, Colleen's not perfect, like, people would be like, yes, she is, but no, she's not perfect, and that's okay, I love that she's not perfect, and I love that I can look up to her as a role model, and I love that I can relate to her a lot, and I just love her, and, yeah. But that's what I love most about Colleen, that she has imperfections, because I have imperfections, too. So, yay. <laughs> and next, I hate him for this. Okay, Jonathan coming at me. Taylor or Colleen? Okay, don't, don't kill me. Don't, don't kill me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I feel so bad because, ugh, Taylor. I'm, I have to say, I gotta stick with my homegirl. I've loved Taylor. Like, she was my number one stan. I've loved her since forever. Like, since basically, like, Teardrops on My Guitar. Like, since that since that song kind of got popular before. Because that song got popular before Love Story. I, I loved Teardrops on my, on my Guitar. And I remember also, like, then I started to stan her with Love Story and um, You Belong With Me. That was... I loved her for You Belong With Me. That's when I really got in. And so then, like, I just started listening to all her albums. And, like, I got them. And, like, I, I'm Taylor Trash. Like, there's no... I'm, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a Swifty more than anything, really. So, yeah, I love Taylor Swift. That does not mean that I don't love Colleen a lot. Like, a lot. I love... Like, it's literally, like... My fandom is Taylor Swift, well, actually, no, it's Turtles, Taylor, Sw Taylor Swift, uh, Keeper of Lost Cities, Colleen, 
and other stuff under it. But, like, that's how it works. Because, like, if you see, like, <laughs> Taylor Swift said, keep our lost cities. And then, like, Colleen and I went, like, Colleen's literally, like, this much under. Like, they're, like, I really love both of them. But, like, if I had to choose, I would pick Taylor. But, like, I don't want to choose and I'm not going to, like, I don't think I'm ever going to get into a situation where I need to choose. So, I mean, I'm just gonna, okay. And next is favorite Taylor album. Um, Speak Now. It's just, it's got hours, this bonus track, but still. Mean Back to December. Um, my favorite one, Speak Now. I should know. Uh, well, I, Speak Now's on there and I love it. Um, Sparks Fly. Um, The Story of Us. That's what it is. Um, oh, my mom's home <laughs> and she's shouting something about knowing and knowing to Tori. Um, so yeah, I Speak Now's great. So basically her albums to me are like Speak Now and then it's like Fearless and Red are kind of like on like one level. I don't know. I've been like, it used to be like Speak Now and then like her first one, and then, like, 1989, and then, uh, Red, and then, like, Fearless was all the way down here, because I was like, who likes Fearless? But then I realized I haven't listened to, I hadn't listened to Fearless for, like, a year, and that's why it kind of, like, dropped below, but, like, Fearless is, like, now, like, like, it's Speak Now, and then Fearless and Red right here, like, those are my two least favorite, but now I'm just, like, Damn, they're, they're like, her best. They're, like, have the most emotion besides Speak Now. Where have I been? <laughs> and then it's probably 1989 and then her first one. <laughs> but, like, they're all, like, high up. Like, this is where all her albums are. <laughs> None of them are down. I love, I love, I love Taylor Swift. <laughs> and I love Colleen and I love everybody. Okay. I sounds, I have, I'm not sick anymore, but, like, my stuffy nose is, like, trying to kill me. <laughs> oh, I'm shouting. Okay, well, it this is 12 minutes, so I should probably stop it. Have fun, have a great night. Um, you should subscribe to me because I'm great, and um, you should like this video and like comment stuff. And yeah, bye.